Welcome to Stuff and Things. My name is Dustin, and welcome to a very special episode. Uh, you will notice this is not Noah. Clearly much better looking than Noah. Much, <laughs> much. I love you, Noah, but seriously. Much I don't even looking. know you, Noah, but I'm <laughs> guessing. I don't know. So, I would like to welcome my brother-in-law, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have an intro song or any kind of an intro thing, but... I could put uh, one in. We could. That'd be fun. I could do like a... Like a WWE, you know, like a superstar. Or Floyd, Money Mayweather, you know, you get go, my yeah, whole entourage. Like I like that. Get um, it in, you know. <laughs> definitely. Everybody wants to latch on here on it. Definitely. MGM Grand. Yeah. I like this. I Why like not? this. So, uh, you'll also notice that we are not in our typical studio, be in the man cave. Uh, we are on location in LeClaire, Claire, Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The metropolis. Don't really know why we're laughing. <laughs> right. It's just uh, Leclerc. Well, how many podcasts are being directed from Leclerc, Iowa? <sighs> this is actually our third podcast from Leclerc, Iowa. Although this first two didn't make make the cut, we didn't actually get <laughs> them done. So, um, <laughs> so uh, we're on a houseboat. We are actually right now on the Mississippi, and it is um, well, uh, one o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, so anyway, here we are. Uh, just thought it'd be fun to, you know, do something a little different, and, uh, you know, we're always talking about getting guests on here, so uh, we're going to stop talking about it and actually do it. Um, and I can't think of a better first guest to have than Alex. So, um, we're always wanting to talk about sports, and as uh, all of you viewers have picked up on in the last 15 episodes or so, Noah doesn't know shit about sports. <laughs> so, it makes it really hard to have a, have a conversation about that. So, uh, again, no better person to bring on than Alex. Cause, uh, none of this is scripted, which is the fun part. <laughs> right, right. But we're going to see what we agree on. Right. Some things we'll probably disagree on and, and where we're at. Also, a couple of <clears throat> fun areas that I think Dustin brought out were, let's get an outsider's look. He's from Indianapolis. I'm from the other metropolis in Iowa, Des Moines, <laughs> right. which has no professional sports teams. Right. The AAA Iowa Cubs are our best, but... Uh, would give him an outsider's look at a couple of things, and I've got some pretty pointed views, and it'd be interesting to see if they coincide with his. So. Yeah, definitely. It should be a fun episode. So, I say we jump right into it. Um, any any of you who do follow sports, um, you know, ESPN has been covering uh, <laughs> really three major stories right now. And uh, and that's about it. <laughs> and that's it. And, and and I'll be honest, I've kind of stopped watching ESPN um, here as of late because I'm kind of sick of it. But uh, definitely some things that, that should be talked about because they, the outcomes of these stories could have a lasting effect on, on these sports. No doubt. Forever. I mean, it, it really could change change the way these sports are, are, are played. So um, which one do you want to start with? Well, we know the three are Aaron Hernandez, yes, A Rod, A Rod, and Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun. Um, I say we start with Aaron Hernandez. I could, yeah. Let's do that because then we'll, we're going to circle back to football. So right. Let's do that. Yeah. I'm just. I, I want to start with this one because I want to hear someone else's take on this story. I, which I've I've stated in an in, in an article that I posted, um, I am I am fascinated with this story. Um. What's the most fascinating part, though, the criminal aspect or the impact on a football team losing one of their star players just this close to the season? Yeah, I tell you what, uh, it's just, I th- I think because of the, okay, th- this is what it is. It's because of the way ESPN, well, the news and ESPN um, handle it. I happen to be watching TV when he was arrested. And so, you know, we saw it live, or, you know, as live as they can show sure. it. Sure. And, and I, don't, I don't know, just the whole seeing this guy, you know, seeing, seeing the cops and the authorities standing at his front door, knocking on the door <clears throat> for seven or eight minutes. He finally comes out. He's handcuffed. And just knowing that, I mean, I follow the Patriots because I'm a Colts fan and I hate the Patriots. Patriots, right. you know, so I follow everything that they do because because of that rivalry that we have, and I don't know. I, I I'm kind of rambling because I I I honestly don't know what it is that is fascinating me about it. But just knowing he just signed a forty year forty million dollar contract, 
uh, during the off season, and gone. Just I mean, just instantly gone. And guilt, uh, you know, innocent until proven guilty. All signs prove to guilty. I mean, there's yeah, every everything tells you that. And I, I'll say this without interrupting. I no, please do because I'm rambling. I, I find it fascinating, but I'm kind of in the same boat. There's nothing fascinating about it for me. I mean, I, I can't stop picking up every story. I just recently saw Aaron Hernandez's cousin is in contempt because she's not cooperating. Right. The story in and of itself, I'm, I'm not a big Patriots fan. Uh, I don't really think the impact on football is going to be a lasting impact. It's, you know, somebody kills somebody in any sport. That, that's just going to be how it is. I think it's going to have some impact on the Patriots this year, but how big of an impact, you know, somebody like Belichick would tell us. I'm right. sure it's a ton, but I, I don't know, and I don't, I don't think it's that huge. Like it's a, you know, a Tom Brady get, getting injured or Tom Brady getting arrested. That, that that kind of an impact. But I can't stop reading these stories because I'm just fascinated about how an athlete or a person with this, these type of resources can make this type of a mistake. And again, right. assuming that there's a mistake in there. Right. But his cousin not refusing to talk to the police, instead serving jail time. Mm -hmm. uh, these other two gentlemen that are in jail, both apparently talking about him as a clearly guilty person of murder. How a person gets from I wouldn't call it maybe the top of the world, but at least from a resource standpoint, it's definitely the top of the world. You've got a $40 million contract. You live in a $3 million home. I can't imagine he pays for a meal right. in Battleboro, Massachusetts. I, I, mean, I just can't He goes into any steakhouse he wants, and right. he's got a free meal if he isn't already uh, a sponsor for them and, and a person that uh, does something for them at a local level. I that part of it, I think, fascinates me, that you have all these resources, and yet, uh, as best we know, it's it's over very something, very little. That that part fascinates me. And yeah, you actually you actually said a couple of things that, that, that I, want, I want to touch on. Uh, the whole uh, being able to, how do you reach that point where you make this decision that, you know, over something so petty. I mean, I, I think that the gentleman that he killed, I think it was... Essentially, because he was talking to somebody that Aaron Hernandez didn't like. That's yeah. That's the impression that I get as well, right. without knowing anything. You know, I don't know. And so Aaron Hernandez had he had kind of a troubled youth, um, made some mistakes when he was younger. His dad passed away, and I believe like 2008 or something like that. But he had, he said all the right things, and he kind of tells Spend after his dad's death. But he said all the right things, and he said, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna make you know a better life for myself going to make the right choices and he was in a perfect position i mean as far as you're you know you're saying the 40 million dollar contract put the money aside you're playing for the patriots who are one of the most you love them or hate them but they are i mean they're one of the elite teams in the nfl no question you're a tight end so you're an, all positions are important in football you're an integral part of of one of the most high-powered offenses. And especially how they run that with their two tight end system that right. has been right. revolutionary and, and he's then, a huge part of it. They had him at, they put him at tailback at times last year right. you know, and ran these goofy plays. It's right, amazing. and then on top of that with the two with the two tight ends, Ron Gr Gronkowski was injured last year. They're still talking. There might be a lingering injury there. So, I mean, he could, he could have ultimately been the number one tight end. You know, and and yeah, to, to to make that decision to just literally just throw it all away, it's well we're here, we're assuming that he's guilty, right? And I think, right, and again, I I think there's obviously a lot to play out, and and I think without a murder weapon, whatever, we're talking about a criminal case, and I think there's a lot to talk about there, and I'm that's where I really think I'm fascinated. Here's a question: that's where I really think I'm fascinated. Here's a question I have for you that I would think would be interesting to sports fans. Prior to any adjudication in a in a criminal court, 
where he's presumed innocent. And prior to letting anything play out, because you always hear these teams, if somebody gets arrested for a, an alleged OWI, you ask the coach, and the coach will say, we're going to let the criminal justice system play out. Well, the Patriots came out a day after and cut him. Right. Actually, maybe it was the yeah, day. Yeah, I mean, he was arrested yeah. in the morning, and they, they cut him. Right. Knowing they might be on the hook for that money. Two questions I have. Number one, do you think that was any indication that, boy, they they had some information that they knew he was guilty and, and they wanted to cut him? Or do you just think that the nature of the offense and just the general overall thing, they're, we got to cut ties to him? What do, what do you think? Because to me that was very fascinating that they just said, boom, we're cutting you. Could not That's agree it. more. That, that That is one of the, the intriguing parts of it. Um, I think, and that leads me into a question that I have for you. Um, I think yes to I think yes to both of those. Um, go back to what I said earlier. They know he had a troubled past. You know, he hasn't been. You know, the the the, the model athlete, the model you know student in school. He had he had some problems. So yeah. I even heard some of the players say, "Oh, this is such a shock to me." I don't buy it. I I just I just don't. The, a football team is too tight of a family, and they spend way too much time. Did they know he was going to go out and murder somebody? No, I, I don't know about right, that. Right, probably yeah, not. No, probably but, not that. This, but knew he was running this, with folks that were this not could good not people. have come as 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 that big of a shock. That that's something. And the second part of your question, no, Bill Belichick. Part of why he's either loved or hated because he doesn't take, he doesn't want to deal with this kind of stuff, right? You know, and and he has that power. And I personally think owners and and coaches, I personally think they put up with too much with athletes, and that's part of why professional sports is. If you're not a fan of them, it's usually you know oh, they make way too much money in there, right? Or they're prima donnas, yeah. exactly. And and I think it's because of that. Like, if if. If I did 90% of what these guys do at my job with being the attitude or the you know the the not showing up to or this or short the, for yeah or or, like or 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 not not performing you know at, at a certain standard or whatever I'm fired there's no if ands about you know about it and that isn't a part of sports um, I'll say at the end of the day at the end of the day for me unless you got something else with Aaron Hernandez, which I think is a great segue into the two other things that we definitely wanted to talk about, which were Ryan Brown and A-Rod. I think this has so little impact on the sport compared to those two. I think this is going to be a a glamorous trial. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be very fascinating from what evidence do they have. You know, part of me, I've got some friends that are criminal defense attorneys Mm -hmm. and they say Alex the the number one thing that we want boy we'd love to have this case because they have been in that river or that lake for five days right looking for a weapon and they say right to try to find a weapon Mm -hmm. well if they don't if they don't get one and I'm that criminal defense attorney for Aaron Hernandez folks this is a wild goose chase right and it produced nothing right other than the circumstantial stuff so we're talking about something that's fascinating from a social standpoint and a, mm-hmm. you know potentially a, a legal standpoint if you want to get that far with it. But socially, it's 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 entertaining. Right. But for me, as far as football goes, I think it hurts the Patriots. But I don't think it's going to have any lasting effect on the game. No. If you're if you're indicted for you know capital murder, right? You know this ain't going to be a, a fluid thing. No, you're going to be off your team. You're gonna. That, I mean, that's just that's gonna be what it's gonna be. But I think with Ryan Braun and, and Alex Rodriguez, I think we've got something very interesting to talk about.